I'm Miss Ishmael Fawson from Ghana. Uh, why did you choose to study in LET program? Okay, basically, the LET program, uh, that decision and then uh, the interest began when I was in my home country. And then I was doing my national service. Here in Finland, I think it's called uh, military service or something like that, yeah. So the interest started there when I was assigned to the e-learning and technology unit. And then at this unit, basically we're using technology in education. So I have a background in education. So I got interested in blending education with technology. So when I was assigned to this unit, I learned so many things from there. And I wanted to acquire more knowledge in technology and education. So I was, I was searching for the internet. I got to find uh, LET, master's program. And I, I, I said, I, this program is a program I have to pursue. So I applied for it. And here I am today. Yes. How did LET program influence your professional competence? Okay. LET has influenced my competence in so many ways. And I would say, basically, this program lies on three theoretical pillars. That we have, we have the self-regulated learning, we have um, collaborative learning, and then we have technology-enhanced learning. So this is the core of the program. And when you enter into this program, you realize that right from your first year to the second year, you'll be going through these theories. The skill that I've acquired in these theories, I think now has improved my professional competence in so many ways. For instance, with the self-regulated learning now, personally, I have developed in a way the strategies in which I learn. Gone are the days I learn just by taking a book and then just reading. But now, I got to understand that effective learning goes beyond just reading the book. You have to plan, monitor your progress, and then also evaluate your progress as time goes on. That is how effective learning takes place. So with the concept that I've learned, I know in the future work is going to help me a lot. And then also another theoretical pillar, which is a collaborative learning. In LAT, you realize that you'll be, you'll be in a different project. You'll be working with different people on a different project every day. And so with this uh, teamwork and then team building kind of skill that you'll be acquiring, it's going to help you in your future work, which I've acquired so far. And then also technology, you know, everything about University of Hollywood is technology. Wherever you go is technology. You go to the library, is technology. So you, by the time you are done with your master's program, you know, you have a lot of information, you have a lot of ideas about how to use technology in your education. So I think in my professional competence, LAT has really influenced me positively. Awesome. Uh, what are you doing now? Currently, I have graduated. And then I'm hoping for a brighter future. <laughs> oh, what are your future career plans? Actually, I have interest in scripting the teaching and learning process of materials and everything. So I would love to work in any higher institution. That will give me the opportunity to script the learning process. And then also, if opportunity is given me, be a project leader in any organization or also being an expert in technology-enhanced learning. Thank you so much.